Hello. Zanklas has saved the answer here. Uh, and now I'm going to talk to you about uh, the getter. Uh, uh, well, it's like to get her air why uh, it's like uh, I <laughs> I don't know what that word is in English, but it's still it's uh, like a clubhouse for uh, like uh, mentally challenged people. Uh, guess you can come if you have. Uh, no diagnosis or anything, but uh, yeah, still it, mostly what it's meant, it's meant for like, yeah, people with diagnosis. So, um, I've been like looking for uh, since I'm on uh, like, um, second, it's always so hard to remember. It's easier every time I try, but it still always eludes me that word. Um, I'm on like rehabilitation retirement, and the world government, uh, puppet government of Finland's government, is trying to like, uh, uh, so uh, like uh, honey trap me, to, uh, like uh, that I would be like feeling thankful for them. They are like, now they are like, uh, proposing like, uh, like a real retirement for me, like, a, like, um, instead of this, uh, like, uh, how would you say it, uh, like time limited uh, rehabilitation retirement. They are thinking like putting me on a like uh, uh, permanent rehabilitation retirement. Uh, yeah, like yeah, you, you get like a retirement at age of 34 and you have not worked in your entire life so <laughs> thanks for the yeah it's like uh, uh, yeah government is like thanks for nothing and we will give you now a, like a full retirement so uh, but uh, that doesn't make me any less like uh, a stout like stout uh, how would you like I'm not some kind of revolutionary. I, I I consider myself a pirate, so I'm a stout pirate. I I, I don't belong to the Finnish uh, like Finland's government. I'm Finnish, but I'm not part of Finland. Uh, but I'm part of Finland geographically, of course, since I live in Lapland. But uh, yeah, not part of uh, this. Uh, a uh, puppet government that calls itself Finland. It's just world government. No, no, not for me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, 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 I <laughs> I rate the treasures uh, by going to uh, probably going to uh, uh, like uh, full time retirement. So. What that does mean that uh, I, I'm gonna spend more time training on this YouTube thingy. Uh, I was never gonna stop anyways, but uh, that would make it easier to do videos since I don't have to actually like, uh, well I have never worked so that would be really weird for me to try to work and like have a YouTube channel at the side. The YouTube is the first thing, but the second thing I'm doing is like, well, I'm. I first went to this. Uh, it's called Nepsu. Like uh, Nepsu, it's like it would be like Nepsu House or something like that in English. Uh, not exact exactly but uh, I can't 
crap all around my head, but that word is, it's like, like it would be like uh, really close to it would be like a next to living room or something like that. But uh, a nepsu is from neuropsychological issues. So uh, this is like a group that meets once a month just to talk. It just started, uh, and they gave me the like uh, a couple places where I could go do uh, like do some uh, rehabilitation work. So like uh, like. Uh, how would you say it? Uh, it's like um, you're a vol volunteer worker, yeah. So I'm now I'm volunteer working at the uh, Together Club, yeah. Uh, really wonderful place. I saw some uh, little bit video clips of the place, like old house. Uh, People are pretty old there. I'm I'm the youngest there, and but uh, still, there everyone is really nice, and there are like five Christian people that I've met. Uh, well, uh, two of them are not permanent. There is like two uh, African like uh, guys uh, like uh, working there. Um, I think. They are like nurses, uh, some kind of medical thing, medical students. Yeah, yeah, they were medical students, and they were both Christians and uh, talk only English. Uh, I really like to talk with them, and, and yeah, there is uh, like this one really big guy who is like an artist and uh, uh, has like a, like the loudest laugh ever <laughs> really like that guy too and so like uh, he has also a friend a little bit smaller guy but with the same name as him and and like uh, this smaller guy brings his karaoke uh, equipment that or that has his uh, karaoke equipment there like twice a uh, 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 like a uh, bit, uh, like not twice, uh, like um, like uh, every couple of weeks there is karaoke. Uh, I went to the karaoke and went to sing. I sang. Uh, it's called uh, what is the English song? It's like uh, I don't remember the English song. Sorry, it's. Uh, it's 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 a song about like a uh, summer wine. Yeah, I see. I sang, sang summer wine, and then when the large guy sang, sang gospel, I thought uh, I gotta sing something that is somewhat religious. Uh, and since we're living in Lapland, also so. Uh, Finland has won uh, Eurovision one time, and uh, the winner was Lordi, band who dresses up, up like monsters, and the singer uh, kinda changes his voice to really sound like a monster. He has uh, like a really clear voice when he talks in those. Um, like interviews, but he always wears the like the monster get up, like he says that it's like makeup for a woman, uh, costume for him. But uh, so, um, Lordy has like uh, where I live uh, in Lapland, uh, this uh, like uh, it's like uh, one bus trip, like uh, it's how how long that bus trip take like a um, 30 minutes bus trip uh, like a uh, 10 minutes with a car if you if you got a car but uh, really like almost the same city but uh, Lordi was born in like a, you could say the same city that I am living uh, 
Well, he moved to Rovaniemi and like Rovaniemi is part of uh, the Nordic Circle, Arctic Circle, Northern Arctic Circle. Like uh, where I'm living, it's uh, like uh, I'm living on the seaside of Lapland and I'm living like uh, like at the edge of the Northern Arctic Circle. Not exactly at the Northern Arctic Circle, but if you go like um, further um, north here, the next city will be Rovaniemi, and then you will be at the Arctic Circle. So he didn't want to change my life, like moving from Central Finland too much. So like. If you are living in Arctic Circle, there is like this, uh, in summers, there is like, uh, how would you say, there is like, they call it the endless, uh, like, uh, endless day. The, like, uh, there isn't, like, dark at night. So one of my friends who actually moved to Rovaniemi, he wanted to drop drugs from his life, but he like his mother lived in Rovaniemi, and the guy failed. He continued like uh, doing drugs in Rovaniemi and moved back to like central Finland, like um just lost case but uh, he was a nice friend while he was still uh, like a non-user users are not I'm not like a, like a, how would you say it I don't want to bad mouth you but uh, yeah it's not a um, good trade, it's a negative trade if you're addicted to drugs. I have never been a drug user myself. Like I told you, I was an occultist, then I became a Christian. I have good upbringing by my parents and my grandparents. I have like uh, three younger siblings, one brother and two sisters, all of them have kids now and yeah. So, um, I'm the only one who is not having kids. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I never wanted, like, even if I was, like, uh, not working, I didn't want to bring shame to my family by becoming, like, some kind of drug user. But, uh, this mental thing, so I've been diagnosed with personality disorders uh, yeah there have been many variations of personality disorder at one time they uh, I even had all the six personality disorders they couldn't decide what I was and my family has uh, like HDHD my younger sister has HDHD my second youngest uh, sister has ADD, her son, ha young son has HDHD, and my younger brother has like reading disability, so that's pretty certain that that is HDHD also. So I would be like uh, probably HDHD diagnosed, but uh, since I have this unknown eye disease. Uh, I'm. I can't get the diagnosis since that would mean that I would need to drop all my pain medication, and I can't do that. Why? Why I can't do that? Are you like so addicted? Are you a drug user after all? <laughs> no, but uh, of course I'm addicted to my medications, but. Uh, since this unknown eye disease works this way, my right eye becomes sore from harsh light and concentration. So, 
If I'm without medication, uh, I can't read. I can't read anything, even with glasses on, I can't even read comic books. Like, uh, my right eye becomes sore, and I can't uh, use computer. I, I, I can use, like with medication, I can use, uh, like, laser projector, I can use, like, a tabletop computer and like uh, I can use cell phone I can use a laptop that has uh, like pretty weak like you need to put the brightness really like to minimum then I can use the laptop and but uh, that's with medication, with that medication it's like you're throwing me to middle ages, so... And... Uh, HD, HD, uh... Like... The, like my youngest sister... It took her a year to get that diagnosis, so living like a, that for a year without no entertainment you can't uh, like uh, trust to even watch out of the window or even like sunlight can if it's really shining badly to your eye can get your eyes or like and you can't read anything it's it's just I would be bored to death and with HD HD and well I don't actually know if I have that uh, personality disorder. The guy who uh, gave me that diagnosis uh, thought that I was just uh, like drug misuser, and I made uh, like a patient's um, lawsuit case against him, and I got that. Got that. Uh, claim that I was drug misuser uh, dropped but uh, the the uh, the personality disorder stayed but, well I have uh, like in my family uh, this 200 years ago lived uh, this Matti Haapoja he's uh, Finland's most notorious murderer and uh, robber so, uh, yeah, I have read, like, uh, there was in center of Finland was, uh, like, a study made of his book. His book was called The Mer uh, Memoirs of Murder Man. And, like, uh, in this book, uh, there was this, who had wrote it, like, uh, of course, he was some kind of historian, so not uh, like any kind of real like mental care worker. But he said that in this book that uh, if uh, the Matti Haapoja, my relative, was uh, like mm, if he was diagnosed today, he would be. Uh, diagnosed as a personality disorder kind of person so I kind of agree that uh, I might have the personality disorder along with HD HD so, since I uh, one of my family at least has the personality disorder <laughs> even if it's like a far off family branch and like 200 years ago and it's like amateur who have made this diagnosis so i'm 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 fine with it i can live with people thinking that i have personality disorder but uh, i need always to explain that i have undiagnosed hd hd that's pretty annoying but i don't think that i can do about that yeah, so what I'm doing at the, like, uh, the Together Club, I'm, like, 
mostly a cleaner that's what I can do but uh, there is like one cleaning day a week and well I, I can kind of made like a spring clean so I can clean for a many hours there yesterday so but uh, like uh, it's pretty uh, I can do whatever I want there. I'm I'm patient and I'm a worker at the same time. There is like a point system in the house. If you are a member, I will become a member of this. Uh, I like the place so. But uh, you can use the points to uh, like if they are going on a trips or something like that. You can use the points to like reduce the. How much the trip is gonna go cost or you can use the points to buy food or something like that and but I, I don't eat there since uh, I use this caprolic acid uh, it's uh, like you put like five grams of butter like it's a path of butter in your uh, Coffee or tea, I drink hibiscus uh, tea, it's like non-caffeine tea, and like uh, the caprylic acid uh, uh, is like an oil, you put one tablespoon of it into your like uh, beverage uh, at morning and it starts a ketosis, your body starts to burn fat for energy and that's my breakfast and I eat once a day and I get off that uh, to get her clubs uh, so it's from uh, from 8 a.m. to uh, 3 p.m. so pro proper work day you get to talk to people and I have just like a year ago moved to like uh, to Lapland so I don't know anyone here so it's heaven sent for me to be able to talk to people it's heaven sent that there are so many Christians there that I have like loved to talk with and, and no one has been annoying yet not even the like the Christian, one Christian man who used to be like a drunkard since uh, alcohol leaves like a scar in people's minds. You never recover uh, like back to your uh, original self if you have been a like heavy drinker. That's just sad but true. And yeah, but uh, even talking to him was tolerable, tolerable and enjoyable at times. There are some things that are like, uh, oh, it's like, <laughs> how would you say it? Even if they are like in Christian faith, if they have been heavy drinkers, they share the same similarities that are a little bit annoying like I'm talking about this kind of like alpha male ego but uh, they have developed during their uh, alcoholism phase but uh, if you look past that uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's uh, just a wonderful person Yeah, what else to add? What else to add? So, I will be working whatever I can. Mostly my work will be talking. That's what the people come to the to get their club for. They want they are lonely, they want company. I am there like I'm a motor mouth. I can talk however I how long I want uh, and I'm not like 
afraid of any topic. Like I have in mind one topic that I'm gonna share soon with you, uh, like a sexual topic. But uh, I don't have girlfriend. No, that's not me. But uh, I will share it soon. But uh, I'm open to talk about anything. I have talked about like uh, sexual things, mental things, my past, fully everything to the like to the club members, and have listened to everything they have to say. And there is uh, like every every week there is someone from the church coming to sing and pray with us. So that's nice. That's nice. Um, since I didn't get any kind of like job from the church, I can be now to use uh, like when the singing starts <laughs> I will be there singing like, uh, of course but I have also brought like a old laptop that my uh, grandfather and grandmother used so I can provide like backup music back music background music and like some songs that we can sing along yeah so I'm making myself useful, but uh, what I'm mostly waiting for that I can make myself more useful in YouTube is uh, I have told like the on the together club that it, that's what motivates me and that's what I really want to do and they have even talked about that uh, yeah like doing YouTube for the uh, the Together Club would be good also, like some kind of publicity. I of course said that I will be making a video about your uh, like uh, club, but uh, it's gonna be in English, so no, no Finnish people are gonna see it. So uh, we would need to do like a channel for the club itself gain like uh, some kind of visibility among the Finnish people I'm not afraid to like do Finnish videos and talk in Finnish but uh, yeah Finnish are uh, like one percent of the world's population so I am not gonna limit myself to talk to Finnish people I, I don't watch any Finnish movies. I don't listen to Finnish music now. So uh, I'm already been like, uh, well, <laughs> always more oriented to like foreign countries and English speaking. So it's more natural for me to try do this YouTube like uh, since I have been from <laughs> age of 18 just listening to English music and watching English movies I have only developed my English speaking skills so that's probably the only like legit skill that I have is my, well my talking is my skill and I can talk like fluid English but yeah, okay, we have reached the half an hour marker, let's not go over it. So I want to thank you all dearly for uh, sticking with me and I would love to hear about you. Like I said, talking is my thing and that's what I like to do, so if you want leave a comment and we can talk so thank you and goodbye